This is happening now. A city disappears beneath the waves. Not in some distant future, but right now. Jakarta, Indonesia's bustling capital, is sinking at an alarming rate of about 12 centimeters per year. If this trend continues, the city could be completely submerged within a matter of decades. But fear not, for Indonesia is fighting back with a colossal plan. The Indonesian government has revived plans to build a gigantic seawall around Jakarta, dubbed the Garuda Seawall. This massive project is a 40-year endeavor with an initial investment of $10.5 billion. When completed, the seawall will be unlike anything the world has ever seen. Join us as we explore how Indonesia plans to pull off this modern-day miracle. But why is Jakarta sinking so rapidly? The answer is a combination of human activities and geographical factors. The city is home to countless skyscrapers and shopping malls, the weight of which is putting immense pressure on the soil below. Additionally, severe water shortages have led to extensive groundwater extraction, creating a network of underground cavities that weaken the city's foundation. To make matters worse, Jakarta is located on the northwest coast of the Java Sea, which is experiencing rising sea levels. This perfect storm of factors has resulted in frequent and devastating floods in Sunamis. Flooding in Jakarta is a growing crisis. The city already suffers damages worth $133 million annually, a figure projected to soar to a staggering $637 million in the coming decades. But the financial toll is just the tip of the iceberg. Experts warned that about one-third of the capital could be completely submerged by 2050 if the situation remains unchecked. The urgency is undeniable. Between 1997 and 2005, some parts of Jakarta sank by over 4 meters. The fate of Jakarta's more than 10 million residents hangs in the balance. To address this colossal problem, the Indonesian government has explored various solutions. One proposal was to relocate the capital to Borneo and build a futuristic city called Nusantara. Another measure was to ban groundwater extraction. However, the most ambitious plan involves constructing a massive seawall around the entire city. Unfortunately, when the seawall concept was first proposed in 2010, it faced fierce opposition from environmental groups and local politicians. Critics argued that the project would devastate marine ecosystems and disrupt the livelihoods of countless people dependent on the sea. Despite the backlash, the Indonesian government has revived the seawall project. Anga Harar, the country's coordinating minister of economic affairs, emphasized the urgent need for the seawall to combat Jakarta's sinking land and persistent flooding. The project will be implemented in three phases, with the first two stages requiring a combined investment of $10.5 billion. While the total cost of the entire project remains unclear, the government is determined to move forward. The Garuda Seawall is an engineering marvel in the making. This colossal structure will stretch for 25 miles and tower at 80 feet high, strategically positioned across the northern bay of Jakarta. The goal is to create a protective barrier against rising sea levels while simultaneously transforming the area into a thriving urban center. The seawall surface will be developed into a bustling metropolis, complete with an airport, harbor, toll road, residential and industrial zones, waste treatment facilities, a water reservoir, and green spaces. This ambitious plan encompasses approximately 4,000 hectares. To accommodate the growing population, 17 artificial islands will be constructed, creating a new district home to an estimated 2 million people. Construction of the seawall's two ends is scheduled for completion by 2040. However, work on a 30-kilometer river and beach dike along Jakarta's coast is already underway. This project, initiated in October 2014, aims to be finished by 2030 and serves as a reinforcement to the existing dike, which was breached during the devastating Jakarta flood of 2007. The final phase of the project, including the construction of a freshwater reservoir within the seawall, is slated for completion in 2050. A key component of the Garuda Seawall project is addressing Jakarta's chronic water supply issues. 
The city heavily relies on groundwater extraction, which is exacerbating the sinking problem. To mitigate this, the seawall will incorporate a freshwater reservoir to collect rainwater and river water from the 13 rivers flowing through Jakarta. This reservoir will provide a clean and sustainable water source for the city's residents. Of course, such a massive undertaking requires substantial funding. The Indonesian government has wisely sought private investment to supplement the initial $10.5 billion budget. A public-private partnership model has been adopted to share the financial burden and expedite the project. In fact, construction on portions of the seawall began in October 2014 as part of a larger coastal development plan. The Dutch and South Korean governments have also pledged $19 million to support feasibility studies for the project's later phases. However, not everyone is convinced that the seawall is the solution. Critics argue that it will exacerbate the sinking problem by obstructing the flow of rivers, leading to waterlogging and pollution. They propose that the government should focus on restoring coastal ecosystems, such as replanting mangroves, to address the root causes of the issue. In response, project proponents maintain that extensive environmental impact studies have been conducted and the seawall design includes features to minimize disruption to the ecosystem. Only time will tell whether the Garuda seawall will be a successful solution to Jakarta's complex challenges. Additionally, Air Longa highlighted that the task force responsible for constructing the giant seawall had been deliberated within the economic ministry. He emphasized the necessity for collaboration among all parties to address the pressing issue of land subsidence. Meanwhile, Indonesia's Marine Affairs and Fisheries Ministries stated that they would supervise the spatial planning process for the giant seawall along the northern coast of Java. In conclusion, though the Garuda giant seawall project has been met with heavy criticism, especially from several Indonesians who are not sure if the project will actually be effective, it is a massive step in the right direction. The government cannot afford to sit back and watch the coast sink and if a seawall will help, then it's plausible. As of now, there seems to be limited publicly available information about specific international reactions to the Garuda giant seawall project. However, based on general trends and potential implications, we can make some educated inferences. Countries facing similar coastal challenges, such as the Netherlands, Bangladesh, and Vietnam, might view the project with interest and potential collaboration. Their expertise in coastal engineering and flood management could be valuable to the project. However, they may also express concerns about the project's potential environmental impact and the long-term sustainability of such a massive structure. Major maritime nations and environmental organizations might have reservations about the seawall's potential impact on marine ecosystems, navigation, and ocean currents. There could be concerns about its effect on fishing communities and the overall ecological balance of the region. Developed nations with significant climate change commitments might see the project as a necessary adaptation measure, but also emphasize the importance of addressing the root causes of sea level rise through global emissions reduction. Ultimately, international opinions on the Garuda giant seawall will likely be a mix of support, skepticism, and cautious optimism. The project's success in addressing coastal threats while minimizing negative impacts will significantly influence global perceptions. What are your thoughts on the Garuda Seawall project? Do you believe it's the right approach to protecting Jakarta, or are there better alternatives? Share your opinions in the comments below.